Ooh, what a Merry Christmas that was, wasn't it? Well, it's been two days since Christmas time, and um, unfortunately I wasn't able to do a video about the whole fiat. Well, today I'm free, and today I'm going to be doing some crazy ass updates here for you guys. First, I would like to show you guys what I got during, you know, the holiday season uh, for December. So, you all saw my manga update and everything, and uh, you know how crazy that was. Uh, but just threw it out here there for you guys. I did some more shopping with mangas. I managed to find Bleach number 7 at my Barnes & Nobles. Uh, unfortunately it was hiding and it was the last copy they had, so now I have 1 to 10 complete. So uh, yeah, I'm very glad I picked that one up. What else? Uh, also I picked up uh, the rest of the Dragon Ball series, which was Dragon Ball 2, Dragon Ball 3, uh, hang on one second. Dragon Ball 4. And Dragon Ball 5. Now this one is really big. This one's four mangas in one. It's pretty sick. But in, in total, that's the entire Dragon Ball saga right there. Um, and then it goes on to, you know, Dragon Ball Z, which I already have one and two of. But uh, we're not going to get into that today. I'll get those another time. I still haven't finished, you know, I just finished part one. And that one was huge, so... Um, Getting into that one. Anyways, Christmas came and well, I got my gifts. And uh, for right now, I'm just gonna really show you, you know, the ones that really concern you guys, you know, the whole games and everything. So, um, let me show you what I got. So, um, I got like a $20 PlayStation Network card. Um, got this from my sister and brother in law, and I got a $50 card as well from my other brother. Uh, in law and my uh, my sister and uh, my father also gave me a fifty dollar one as well. So I have like one hundred and four uh, play PlayStation points uh, on my PlayStation Network account right now. So yeah, that's a lot of money right there. Uh, as for what I'll be spending it on, I'm thinking about picking up the digital download version of this Gaia. So I'm probably gonna get this Gaia uh, Part One. Also, I decided against getting the PSP Go. I mean, but. I found it very hard to, you know, spend that kind of money on another PSP console that's, you know, just not needed. And besides, on Amazon.com, I found a 16 gigabyte memory stick for only 55 bucks. So I'll just get that instead. Alright, moving on. These are the games that I managed to get for Quickness. I got SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 for the Xbox 360. Also, from my mother and father, I also managed to get the God of War collection. Now, if you know me personally, you know that I really do not like Kratos at all. I hate the dude. Uh, I hate skinheads and, like, shit with that, um, bald dudes and video games with muscles and... I hate those guys, but, you know, I played the demo for God of War 3 and I was like, you know what, I must be missing something really good. So, you know, for this, I couldn't go wrong. Besides, I was running out of gift ideas, so... Got this. Awesome. And I got this one from my sister and brother, Forza Motorsport 3. Now, we really enjoyed it, and the whole Xbox Live community is where it's at. And without Xbox Live, this game, I believe, isn't as good. But it is good, and well, I got it. My mother and father got me Final Fantasy Advent Children Complete on the Blu-ray. Now, if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy 7, or just a fan in general of Final Fantasy 7, then you owe it to yourself to see this movie because this movie is absolutely incredible. I was, when I saw this movie, I was absolutely just blown away by it and I thought it was absolutely awesome. So yeah, pick it up guys. If you, if you guys seen it yet, check it out. It's definitely a good movie. Uh, just make sure you see the complete version of it because that's where it's at. Let me just go through the games that I got there in December um, and late November. Uh, for a really, really cheap price, I managed to get Trace Memory for the DS, and um, uh, I have another code R for the Wii, on my, you know, modest Wii, and um, while I was playing that game, I, I suddenly realized that something seems missing here, like there's gotta be like some sort of missing link that I'm completely missing from the story, because the game kind of treats you like you're already into the series, and I had no clue that game was actually a sequel to this one. Uh, I knew about this game, but I had no clue it was a sequel. I thought it was a remake for the Wii. It was completely wrong. It's actually a sequel. So I decided to get this. It was only $4.99 used. Right. Um, like I said about that, I'm on the code. Um, 
I also bought uh, Star Ocean Second Evolution for that system, uh, for the PSP. I mean, since I already had Star Ocean First Departure, and I still haven't gone much farther in this one, I know Part 2 was a better game, so uh, I picked up Star Ocean Second Evolution, and I've been playing this so far, and it's pretty damn good. Uh, these games, I managed to get up from the Bytes to use games to get one free deal, I think that went on two weeks ago. Uh, I'm surprised why I traded this game in um, so fast. It just came out. At Lear Annie, maybe I'm saying that wrong, but whatever. Screw you. Uh, At Lear Annie, the Alchemist of Sarah Island. Now, this is a really cute game, I must admit. Like, the characters, the voice acting, it's really, really good. And uh, it's got a, it's, it's, it's made by the Nipponichi guys, um, the guys who did this guy and stuff. So it, it, it's definitely, you know, kind of humorous and stuff like that, but it's, it's a really cute game. I like it. I also picked up, uh, somebody also traded this in, and I was quite surprised, Fantasy Star Zero. And when I saw they traded this in, I was like, oh, wait a minute, back up. I gotta get this game. I saw this game around, and I was like, you know what, this has to be one of the better RPGs on the DS uh, back when it was released in Japan a while back. And now they just decided to bring it to North America. But, you know, now that they did, I'm happy that I got it, so... And with that, I also got Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. Now, I was planning on picking up this game a while back when it came out, but I just never got around to it. Now that I picked it up, I'm happy to say that this game is awesome. Like, I love the Shin Megami Tensei series for the most part, you know, Persona and everything. And this game kind of reminds me of Persona, but, you know, go figure, you know, it's an Atlas Shin Megami Tensei title. But it's a really, really good game, and I definitely love the art style of the characters. And the gameplay is off the roof, so it's, it's really good. I like it. So, so going back to what I was saying about um, self-gifting, I definitely self-gifted myself the, this today, actually. Uh, I went over to my GameStop. I had, like, a couple of games on hold, and I decided to pick up, well, believe it or not, people traded these games in already. So I found Little Big Planet used for the PSP, and I just blew my roof. I was like, what? Somebody already traded this fantastic game in? Oh, man, I got to get this. I put it on hold for myself, and well, what can you say? I got it on hold. So I was really, really pleased to get this one. And, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate people don't like great games, you know? So, I, you know, I kept it. I was like, you know what? I was thinking about getting the digital download-only version of it on the PlayStation Network. But, you know, why bother? I got the physical format of it. Also, somebody also traded this one in, believe it or not, Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I picked this one up as well because this was also on my Christmas list. And I was like, you know what? I gotta get this game. So, um, picked it up and uh, look at that. It's like brand new, basically. You know, people know how to take care of the games. So I'm pretty pleased about that. And I've never played a Mario & Luigi title before, so, um, you know, I missed out on two of them, but I got the best one in the end, so, all right. Also, uh, since it was a bite of the bite to use games, game one free deal going on, I managed to pick up this game, which was pretty, you know, pricey, but, uh, it, I heard it's really good. I remember watching Happy Console Gamers, um, videos on them, uh, Legacy of the East, books one and two, and, uh, I heard they're pretty good games, and they're very, like, old style, back on the Turbo Graphics, I believe they were created for. And um, they've got this really distinct art style, that old art style with the, you know, the story and everything. But this is um, basically remastered for the DS, and I got it for free. I, I kind of figured, you know, why, you know, what, what, where can I go wrong with this? So I got it for free, and that's really cool. So I'm really looking forward to playing that sometime. And last but not least, this is another game that was on my Christmas list that um, uh, I, I'm not getting, I didn't get as a gift, but... I kind of expected that because I'm getting something a bit better, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I managed to pick up The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, and I've owned this little Twilight Princess, and I own most of the titles, actually all of them, that are on the WiiWare right now. Not WiiWare, on um, Virtual Console, on my Wii. Uh, and I will be honest with you, this is probably going to be the first Zelda game that I'm actually going to complete, and I really look forward to playing this one. And one of the reasons why I'm really, really excited about playing this one is because Zelda actually has a prominent role in the game this time. And I'm a big fan of Zelda herself, so um, I'm really looking forward to playing this one. So this one looks awesome. And hopefully if I like it, I'll probably pick up Pantomara Glass, hopefully. But um, 
yeah, so there you have it. These are all my pickups, you know. Completely. You know, show you how to start zero at the end. Star Ocean, second evolution. Trace memory. And, um... F and children complete, four is a three, gotta work on Lex, and Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. So, I think I got a pretty hefty, you know, uh, the games here. So, uh, yeah, happy holidays, guys, and I uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas. One of the other gifts that I was just hinting at is an HD flip cam. So, uh, I'm gonna be going HD pretty soon, so look forward to that, guys. And uh, this was a holiday gaming update, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, check you guys later, and happy holidays.